Welcome back friends in this video we are going to talk about how you can find and remove duplicates in an excel file. Basically this is one of the great trick which we have and I think uh, everybody face uh, this kind of challenge in while working with their data sets am I right and uh, we are going to cover different aspect but again I'm telling you these are not limited to only these method but I'm trying to cover all the topics like all the techniques which you can use while working with duplicates. Before I start I'm requesting you to please subscribe my channel and click on below bell icon to get the notifications. Now let's get started. On my screen if you click on this tab highlight duplicates okay you will be seeing that I have this data set. So first I'm going to tell you that how you can highlight duplicates in one column. So if you see this column okay I have some repeated names here like you can see Oscar name is mentioned here also here also and here also. So what I'm going to do I'm going to highlight these kind of duplicates just with one click you just need to go to conditional formatting which comes under the home section. Once you click on this you will be seeing duplicate values you just need to click on that and when you click on that you will be seeing this duplicate value. So there are two options one is duplicate second is unique so if you want to highlight only the unique values you can select unique and uh, if you want to highlight duplicates you can select duplicate so you can see that what is happening here. Now what we'll be doing we'll be clicking ok and once we click ok so all these uh, cells will get highlighted ok so that is how you can work. Now what we are going to do we are going to talk about how you can highlight based on two columns. So you have these two columns now available here and you want to highlight these two columns am I right. So how you can do that you need to type one formula that is count if as function though I have already written here let me write it again. So count if as function here what we will be doing we will be checking both the columns value if these are getting repeated in the different rows ok. So we will be using count if as function. First you need to select the criteria range 1 so that will be your client name value and you can just fix this range. Now it is asking for the criteria 1. Criteria 1 is my Oscar array ok and uh, you can just fix the A column. The reason is because uh, this column will always remain fixed then you have the criteria range 2. In the criteria range 2 you will be selecting department column ok and then you have this criteria 2. In the criteria 2 you will be selecting the second range and now again we will be fixing the B column because my department will always remain in the department column. So let me press enter and once I do that I need to copy this formula and what I will be doing I will be checking in my conditional formatting whether my value of count if as is 1 or more than that. If it is more than that then those cells will get highlighted. So let me click on this conditional formatting here I need to click on new rule. And once I click on that you will be seeing this use a formula to determine which cells to format. Once you do that you just put this formula here and just on the right side put greater than and greater than 1. So if my count if as function result is more than 1 then those cells should get highlighted and I can select any color. If you want to use different formatting like highlighting in any border or you want to increase some font size you can do that ok. But I am just using this highlight one. And I'm clicking OK. Once I click OK here, I need to click OK on this new formatting rule window also. Once I do that, you can see automatically the rule is applied. So Oscar area, so all these two columns are getting highlighted and you can see these are repetitive values. Now what I can do, I can just filter out these values. So what you can do, you can just click on this filter button and go to filter by color and you can just select the highlighted color and now you will be seeing these windows. Am I right? So that is how you can highlight your duplicated values. Now what I want to do, I want to highlight the second occurrence of this repetitive value. So if my this cell values are getting repetitive in the second row, okay, that second row is going to highlight not the first row because it is unique for me so that I can delete or I can work accordingly on the next row, okay, if it is repetitive. Now how you can do that, let me remove that formatting which I have used, okay. You just need to go to conditional formatting, go to manage rules and uh, from there you can select this worksheet and you select this rule, delete this rule. Click apply, click ok and once you do that now we are ready. Now what we need to do for this, we need to use this countfs function but in the very smart manner ok. You type countfs function here, you put bracket criteria range 1. My criteria range 1 will become like this ok. I will be starting from a1 till a2. And I will be fixing my A1 so when I will be going to paste this formula down the second array okay second range will get changed. So let's understand that what do I mean. So let me put A2 here I just need to 
press dollar sign in the a column because it is fixed okay now i am putting my criteria one criteria one will be my oscar arrow here i just need to fix my a column similarly i will be doing for department and i will be fixing my first range second cell reference i'm not fixing i'm just fixing the b column and now i will be putting criteria 2 so criteria 2 will be this and again i will be fixing b column and i am pressing enter now it is saying one okay so we are getting this now let me put control d if you see here it is coming from a1 to a2 okay when i'm dragging it to the next cell because i didn't freeze the row okay it is changing with the row number so in the second row you can see it is 2 okay and it is not fixed it is coming like second row if i go to the second row it will be showing me 3 am i right and if i drag it down it will be showing me 4 so what i'll be doing i will be copying this formula and i will be checking the occurrence if it is more than one then i will be highlighting those same method you just need to select all these cells go to conditional formatting go to new rule and select use a formula to determine which cells to format here you just need to paste your formula now you just need to mention the criteria greater than one highlight the cell format here we'll be highlighting the cell with this color and we click ok we click ok again you can see the second value got highlighted not the first one okay so that is the technique which you can use to like keep the unique value separated from the repetitive value so that you can work only on the repetitive occurrence am i right so hope you understood this concept still you have questions you can ask in the comment section now let's go to the next part of this video here we are going to delete the duplicates it is very simple method you just need to focus on that you just need to select any cell point in this data and you can go to data on the top once you select this data okay you will be seeing this remove duplicates right now i am using office 365 that is why i am seeing this option but if you are using any previous version then what you can do you will be seeing remove duplicates under data tools directly okay it is just a clear option mentioned there so you need to click on this you need to click remove duplicates once you do that this window will pop up here it is asking on the basis of which column you want to delete the duplicates right now if i want to delete the duplicates only with the client name okay if oscar is repeating so only oscar one unique value will remain in the data and other repetitive value will get deleted okay right now you can see oscar is repetitive thrice one is in the second row second is the seventh row and third is the oscar this tenth row okay and once you see that I am just clicking client name okay I am not considering my department right now to identify my duplicates and deleting them so I am just clicking on this I will be clicking ok now you will be seeing all those three occurrence that got deleted let me undo this by pressing ctrl z let me go to this remove duplicate again if I select both the columns okay now what I am going to do I am going to find the duplicate based on both the columns so that is why I am just checking boxes on both the columns okay and uh, what you need to do you just need to click ok and once you do that you will be seeing oscar has been deleted but only the unique values okay it is coming from operations and it is coming from information technology so that is how you can remove duplicate so this is the method which you can use very simple method to delete duplicate but still if you want to explore some more ideas what you can do you can just use my like previous section which we talked about that how you can highlight the unique highlight the duplicate and by filtering that option you can filter the colored cells and then you can delete it okay it totally depends on you how you want to actually delete that so that is how you can delete duplicates now what we are going to do we are going to extract the unique list in the next uh, section of this video here what we will be doing we will be extracting only the uniques okay for that again there are two methods you can use the same count if as function which we used in the last chapter like this highlight duplicates uh, we will be typing count if as function and then we will have this criteria range okay in the criteria range you will be selecting only two columns you will be fixing first cell and then you will be like putting dollar sign in the a comma again you will be selecting this criteria you will be fixing the a column and then you will be selecting department in the department you will be fixing b1 cell put dollar sign in the b column and here will be like putting criteria 2 so criteria 2 will be my information technology hope you understood this concept uh, we talked about this uh, in my last uh, section of this video all right so let me press enter once i press enter let me drag this formula down ctrl d and just activate the filter so what you need to do you just need to select 
one and this is your unique list. You can copy it and paste it somewhere. Second method, what you can do, you can just remove this. Let me use unique formula. Here you need to use unique. Okay, this is a new formula which is introduced in uh, Office 365. Okay, so if you are using any previous version, then I would recommend you to use uh, the method which we talked about count if as function. Okay, so you type unique and then uh, you put Oscar array. Okay, you can select the entire data and then press enter. Once you do that, you'll be seeing your unique values got appear here. Okay, it is just very simple. So that is how you can extract your unique list. Now, here is the last section of this video and I'm calling it as a bonus for you. The reason is because I was receiving same queries and people are facing challenges when they have different products, uh, different team, different people and they align the same person, same product to different teams, whereas they should be aligned to only one category. How you can achieve this with this method? Let's understand that. Here, what you need to do, you need to use if function. So if you see Oscar is aligned to information technology and operations as well. So I want to highlight this Oscar. If a person is aligned to only one department, I'm okay with that. But if a person is aligned to more than one category, like you can see Laura is also aligned to information technology, marketing and operations. Okay. So it cannot be a case. So now let's identify these kind of employees. So how you can do that? You put count if s and then criteria range one. Criteria range one, you will be selecting starting from B2 uh, cell ending at F2. What you can do because my column will remain fixed. You can just fix the column and uh, you should not be fixing your uh, rows because I will be dragging this formula down. So my rows will also get changed. Okay. Now I'm putting comma. In the criteria one, I'm just putting Y in the inverted comma. So it depends how you have written your criteria in your uh, data set. You just need to put the criteria according to that. Once you do that, you press enter. Now it is showing me two. Okay. Let me drag this formula down control D. And once I do that, what I'll be doing, I will be like activating the filter in the filter. I'll be going to number filters. And here I am using different option like greater than or equal to. Okay. So let me click greater than. And once I click greater than is greater than I'm putting one here. I'm clicking. Okay. And uh, these are the two employees who are aligned to more than one department. So what I need to, I just need to correct the data. What I can do, I can delete it and I can work accordingly. 